So, I'm doing the body work. I'm prepping for paint on the Mach 1. I removed the rear quarters, which I had done before and taken a look at it, but this time I really took a deep look. And, uh, got some Bondo on the back, which I guess is to be expected. But what I had noticed is that when the rear quarter on the right side is on, it's got these three little screw holes that line up with these holes. There's a slight adjustment, but it generally fits right on. When the top is flush, you look down, the side doesn't line up. This whole line doesn't line up right. At most, it looks like about a half inch down here toward the bottom that the right rear quarter sticks out too far. And it had always bothered me, and I was afraid to check it out. And when I'm finally checking it out, I'm seeing that it's not the end cap that's the problem. It's the actual quarter itself that's been flared out. I don't know why it would be flared out, but they bent it out deliberately for some reason or another. Now I look back here and I see on the inner wheel well there's a, a dent back there. And then I see some uh, some welding, a welding line right there, which honestly I, I just didn't see it when I was buying the car, so my bad on that one. And you look here in the inner wheel well, you see this bump, this bump right here. So what I'm thinking is the car was hit here. This quarter was crunched in, pushed the wheel well in, bumped the wheel well, and then they replaced this whole quarter. So the car was hit when it was grabber blue. They replaced the quarter, did some bogus body work, and then painted it red after that this ridiculous red that it's not even one of the original colors but they didn't line up the quarter right I mean why didn't they just put the end cap on one time to make sure that it was correct like the left side you got it you got a whole template a whole map here of how it's supposed to look and you didn't use it so honestly I don't really know where to go from here I, I'm thinking to use the cutter and cut, oh geez, cut like here, down, and then down, and then under, and squeeze it in to push it in, clamp it, and then weld it. And of course putting the end cap on to make sure it lines up right, but welding down in here, straight down, that is good. that would be a really hard weld to get right here. But that seems to be the right case, because under here, this is too wide, and it's also got chips here. I used a magnet, and I found that this is full of Bondo right here, this whole piece. That seems to be the right way to go, though, because, it, all right, let's compare it. This side is about half an inch wide right here. Let's go to the left side. On the left side, this, this is sharp, right here. See that? There is no half inch. It's, it's just a sharp edge, a sharp, like a, a pointed peak that points downward. There's no half inch. This is where the mistake was. They must have filled in that half inch with Bondo. Why they didn't just hold it and clamp it and, and make it sharp peak like this and why there's that half inch difference is beyond me. But the half inch on the bottom does correlate with the half inch that the end cap doesn't line up. That seems to be the error. I can probably cut it correctly. I can probably hold it. The weld is going to be tough and I'm just hoping that the lineup with the end cap is going to go right. On top of that I pulled off the valence and I just have all of this down here. I got a sand it and clean it up and wire brush and it's just a big pain. It's setting me back. I'm, I'm not going to be getting to primer anytime soon until I get this done. So that's where I'm at. This is Joe B working on the Mach 1.